show you those beautiful Syngonia Marei that I got. I got those uh, about four months ago. Isn't she pretty? Now this is a mature form of the plant. Uh, the smaller, um, younger version has a white stripe down the middle. You can see, I've got one right here. See how the white stripes are when it's younger? It's a beautiful, beautiful plant. I love it. But now, when I got mine, um, well, I'll put a picture up of the white striped, or like a silvery stripe. But when I got mine, it did not have any of the striping in it. You can see just a little bit right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's just a faint striping right in the middle. But as they get, it's kind of cool because you kind of get like a two for one plant. <laughs> but, um, but anyways, mine was did not have the stripes on it when I got it. It was already a mature form. I guess when it's smaller too, it also has smaller, a lot smaller leaves, and then the leaves get bigger and they get more elongated. You can see I have a new growth right here starting. Really exciting. It looks like it's gonna be, it looks like it's gonna be a really nice long leaf. I think these, I can't remember how many leaves it had on it when I got it. I think it had three or four leaves on it when I got it, and it's grown, I think these three, maybe this one too, I, I don't remember, I'll have to try to see if I can find a picture of it, I did an unboxing video on it, but I just, I love her, now this is what they call the dark form, uh, velvet syngonium, and it is, it is very, very velvety, and you can see the back of the leaves are just, they're, these are more of a um, hunter green color, and then the backs are lighter. Really a beautiful plant. You can see a little bit of the white striping on this here leaf, too. But, I just love it she's gorgeous i love that they call it the velvet syngonium because she is very soft and um if any of you guys have like a micones or um some kind of a plant like that that's really soft and velvety that's what she feels like um you can see she's getting roots right here i'm hoping she'll start grabbing onto the board but because she definitely definitely needs something to grow on. And what's another th cool thing about this plant is it will actually send up runners. I was reading it'll send up runners from underneath the soil and or it might do it other places too, but it'll make a little bit bushier of a plant and I guess they're pretty easy to propagate too. But they're actually um, native to rainforest and Costa Rica and Panama and places like that but um so obviously they like a lot of humidity and um I keep mine in about a 60 percent humidity I grew her out on my back porch in a east window when I first got her this summer and she liked it out there now I've moved her in here in the winter time and I have her Oh, about two or three feet from a southern window and she gets some grow lights too so you want to keep her in a a pretty bright light in the house now if you had her outside you'd want to keep her in a more shaded location obviously because the leaves will burn but from what i remember reading about this plant they really do well in like a terrarium uh, situations so if you have a terrarium 
and you want to have a nice terrarium plant, this plant would be the way to go. But of course, once it gets taller, I don't know what you would do with it unless you have a really big terrarium. But, um, and obviously, it's a syngonium, so you want to keep her at a moist level for your soil. Um, I let mine get pretty light. Like right now, I just watered her, I think, two days ago. And she does not need to be watered for quite some time again. But um, you want to keep her at a moist level. I usually, when my pot is about, you know, I pick my pots up usually. And if it's about halfway um, dry... Then I go ahead and water her again, and I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hook her up again right here. Get another uh, tie around her. I just have her on a regular old wooden plank that she's growing up, and then as she gets taller, I'll have to add another taller plank to her. But because she is getting air roots coming out, she just started doing that not too long ago. And just repot her when she gets root bound. I mean, you don't have to go crazy. They say these grow really quickly. Um, but I haven't had her long enough to, to really know that yet. We'll find out, I guess, probably next year. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't see any roots. I see per perlite, but I don't see any roots on her. Or under the pot. But... Um, they say that propagation is pretty easy. I looked it up before I started this video. Now, I've never propagated her. Uh, eventually, I will. Maybe once she gets tall enough to outgrow this pole. You can see her pole here. Right here is the top of her pole. So probably once she gets to the top of the pole, I'll go ahead and propagate her. And then make it a little bit fuller. And um, I like my plants to be more full than I do just a single runner up a pole. But um, they said it was pretty easy to propagate this one. A couple of the websites that I read said water pro propagation works really good. So you'd want to take, you know, cut a node and then put it down in water. But I'm sure you could air layer it. Uh, which is probably what I will do when she gets really close to getting to the top of her pole. I'll go ahead and start air layering it. But they said water propagation. She water propagates real easy. Most syngoniums do. I have a lot of syngoniums. I haven't propagated all of them, but... Well, I don't know. Maybe I have, but... They are super easy to propagate. I mean, <laughs> they're probably one of the easiest plants to propagate really when it comes right down to it let me show you the back of the pretty green it's so funny how the the front is so dark and then the back is such a light green it's really pretty i kind of wish you still had the darker silvery markings down the center of her that would be pretty but i get they just grow out of that when as the leaves get more mature but I guess the common issues with this plant, um, from what I read, was underwatering. <coughs> and that will cause most problems. Um, you'll get droopy leaves. You know, they'll hang down and get droopy. And you'll get crisp edges, which, like, this one was looking kind of funky. But I think it's just a older leaf, so it's probably getting ready to die back and die off, which is fine. Plants do that. But, um, and they also said that this plant, <laughs> of course, um, can get spider mites, which I find most of the velvety leaved plants <laughs> usually do, like the anthuriums and the mycones and not all. But, you know, some of them just seem to be prone to to that. I can't wait until this leaf pops out. 
it looks like it's going to be pretty long. But, and that's what I loved about this plant, was just the long, um, airhead shaped leaves. They're, they're just so pretty. They're just really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get... I love it. Got a fuzzy on her. But they say the mature height of this plant is only 15 inches, which I found that kind of odd. Um, another website I read said, I think it said 12 inches, which I don't know, that's kind of weird, but the leaves can actually get five to seven inches long on this and about three to five inches wide. So as it matures, it will get, the leaves will get longer and they will get wider. I, it's just a gorgeous plant and I can't imagine the leaves being bigger on this. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I can't even imagine. Well, I mean, I can. I've seen I've seen a few pictures of this in a really mature form. I'll try to pop them up here of the white striping up close and the more mature a more mature form of this plant. And I'll I'll try to find a less mature. Well, not try to because those are everywhere. But and then I'll pop them up right here. So yeah, it's absolutely a gorgeous plant, and it's kind of like you get a double plant, because I'm assuming, like, when this would grow runners, from a, it's going to be the juvenile form of the plant, so you're going to have the smaller leaves with the silver striping on it, and that would be gorgeous to have, like, a double it, it would almost be like having two different plants in one pot, which I love to do. I love to mix some of my plants together. But, um, it would be, inter it'll be interesting to see if she does it and what it will, what it will look like. Because I, I just love this plant. It's so, so pretty. I got a new light and I'm, I'm trying to, uh, figure it out and actually right there looks really good even though it's blinding me and from what I can see on my camera that angle for my light looks really good but yeah she is a beauty um, I've not had her for very long I can only tell you so far <coughs> what how I have been taking care of her and I just treat her like every other Syngonium that I have um, everything we already went over with watering and humidity and stuff that, um, I, I can't wait to grow her up. I think she is just gorgeous. And I'm really glad that I got her. I got a couple of, or a few really cool Syngoniums this summer that, um, I am really, really glad that I got. I'll be doing videos on them soon. Um. But, oh, and by the way, this plant is also toxic, so you want to be careful not to let your kids or your animals chew on this plant, because it's just like pretty much every other plant in our collection that can be dangerous, so you just want to be careful. Luckily, thank God, I used to have a cat that chewed on a couple of my plants, mostly he just chewed on my spider plant and my spider plant babies, but actually he didn't really chew them, he just kind of batted, <laughs> he just would kind of bat them around, but, um, it took a toll on the plant, but luckily I don't have animals that chew on plants, so, um, I, I that's something I really don't have to worry about, so just be careful with this plant, be careful with all your plants around your kids, if they're hungry, feed them something else. <laughs> Don't let them chew on your plants.
But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And that is all I have to say on this plant. I think it's pretty. I'm glad I got her. I think it's been kind of a slow grower. Um, some of the websites I was reading said it was a fast grower. But I don't know. Maybe I haven't hit the sweet spot for the light yet. But I've got her in really good lighting. So... I don't know, maybe she needs to back off a little bit from the lighting. Uh, I'll uh, maybe play with that and see, but a really pretty plant. So I'm going to let you guys go. I will talk to you later. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Peace.